Hello everyone, I'm Habiba Farooq from Purdue University and I'll be presenting our work titled Face Revelio, a face liveness detection system for smartphones with a single front camera. This is a joint work with Raham Muhammad, Sion Sao and Dr. Ho Wang. Ever since Apple introduced its Face ID in 2017, face authentication has become increasingly popular. Apple and some other recent high-end smartphones embed specialized hardware components onto their screens for capturing the 3D structure of the human face. Although effective, such components occupy a notch on the screen, which is against the notch and bezel-less screen trend in the smartphone market. Some recent and upcoming smartphones are expected to get rid of this notch with only the front camera on the screen. However, by getting rid of these depth sensing components, these new smartphones, as well as most of the existing smartphones, which lack such specialized hardware, can only perform 2D face authentication, which is susceptible to 2D spoofing attacks, where an attacker having access to photos or videos of the registered user can use these to unlock their smartphones. In order to defend against such attacks, face authentication systems usually include a liveness detection system whose job is to determine if the test subject is a real human or a spoofing attempt and allow authentication only in the case of a real human. Several liveness detection methods have been proposed previously. However, most of these methods either require ideal environment conditions or rely on some form of user interaction. In this paper, we present face revelio, a face liveness detection system which is accurate, environment independent, and does not require any user interaction or specialized hardware. The key idea of our system is to use the smartphone screen as a light source and record images of the face under different illumination to reconstruct the 3D surface of the face. Here is a high level overview of how face revelio works. We begin by displaying a combination of light patterns on the smartphone screen and simultaneously record the reflection of these patterns from the user's face via the front camera. The recorded video is then passed on to an image recovery module, which recovers four stereo images of the face, where each image represents the face illuminated under a different light source. We then use these images to build a normal map of the face via a computer vision technique called photometric stereo. Finally, a 3D model is reconstructed from these surface normals and is passed on to a deep Siamese neural network which analyzes depth features of the 3D model to decide if the subject is indeed a human or a spoofing attempt. In order to defend against replay attacks, we introduce the idea of a light pass code in our system. Instead of illuminating the screen with a static and easily forgeable pattern, we divide the screen into four quarters and record the face for a given time duration. During this time, we illuminate all four quarters simultaneously, but with a different random intensity value for each quarter. And these random intensity values keep changing over time. The benefit of using this light passcode is that a new random passcode is generated with each use of our system. So given the randomness involved, it's very difficult to guess what light patterns would be displayed on the screen. For accurate 3D reconstruction, we design our passcodes to be independent, zero mean, and orthogonal using Gram-Schmidt process. We also apply low pass filtering to our light passcodes to avoid causing any strain on the user's eyes. Now let's take a look at how well does face revelio perform. Our system achieves state-of-the-art performance in detecting spoofing attacks in dark, daylight, as well as indoor lighting conditions. Specifically for dark environments, our system can achieve a detection accuracy of 99.7%. For replay video attacks, by determining the correlation between the passcode displayed on the phone and the one recovered from the camera response, our system achieves an equal error rate of 0.15%. On top of a passcode duration of one second, our system only takes 0.13 seconds to reconstruct the 3D surface and decide if it belongs to a human or not. Face revelio is also robust against different screen-to-face distances as well as different face orientations. So to summarize, by using only the front camera of a smartphone and using its screen as a light source, face revelio can perform secure face liveness detection, which is not environment dependent or requires any user interaction. Please check out our paper for more details of our system and thank you for watching.